Welcome everybody to the Daily Addictions channel. I am Addiction Master on most social media. Today I'm going to be talking about a movie called Army of the Dead. It seems I've been on a Zack Snyder kick, or more likely a Netflix kick. I like to use it while I got it. So thank you to my friend. This is a zombie movie and a heist movie combined. Something that really caught my attention despite me hating Zack Snyder's Justice League and Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman. <laughs> but I do love his remake of Dawn of the Dead in 2004, which he was only the director of and he was not producing or screenplay the writing well maybe you know directors have some say i guess and the 2004 remake dawn of the dead is really good uh i i enjoy it i watch it again and again i'm a big fan of zombies going back to george a romero and dungeons and dragons just fascinated with the law so you got me i'm interested in Bank heist movies, fine. You got me. And I tried to put out of my mind this recent Zack Snyder stuff. So, in a nutshell, I did not enjoy the movie. I think it has elements that people are going to enjoy. Now, I think you got to keep Zack Snyder away from these things. So, on Army of Dead, he is listed as the director one of the producers with, I think, his wife, uh, on the screenplay. Uh, the story is by him. And it's a, it's a mess. It's, it's got lots of stupid shit going on. Unbelievable. To the point where I, I watched Sharknado. I watched Zombie Tidal Wave. I've watched all five Sharknado. Like, I've watched all these, um viper fish first crocodile whatever all the monsters b movies uh indies i watch them all at some point so i don't mind a little zaniness and a little coininess this is like two and a half hours again like way too much going on i'll admit you can cut this movie down and i would probably enjoy it i would probably let it just flow over me this story element that he's got we woven in which i don't think he does well you've got personalities i could go with i uh, like batista they fucking edited out some guy because he had some bad allegations against him and he's just 3d animated or cgi'd out of the movie and they put this other person in the movie who is great on uh discovery i think uh i forgot the name is tig tig something uh Tignataro, and it's it's just mind blowing that she's like probably never been on the set with any of them, or maybe some reshoots. The personalities don't gel with me. It doesn't work well. But I think when I do these things and I don't get too deep into plot points and um, spoilers, it leads. I hope it doesn't lead people to believe that it's just a bias right off the bat. I try to recognize that. But I'm up for a zany, crazy movie and get by it. I watch fucking Sharknado, and I'm not saying that's good, but this shit gets robot fucking hands, like Iron Man fucking... It's just... You're blowing shit off of the hands. I get it. I could have fun with it. I could let it just wash over me. But you're looking at two and, two, two and a half hours, lots of slow-mo. I, I don't get it. I'm not really interested in this um, hype for the streaming and um, like if it does well, like fine. I mean, in general, though, I'd like movies to do well. I would love to see more movies of different types of genres, but you kind of got to be careful what you wish for. Love Vampires and Werewolves. Underworld was like the highlight of it. And then it just is garbage now. I don't care about vampires and things like that so i guess it could influence you and in, or certain people in a, in a certain way but i'm up for a good zombie movie i wasn't in that mood of um you know i don't feel like watching a zombie movie and so on and so forth although i did like his 
direction in Dawn of the Dead when he decided to do fast zombies when I don't like fast zombies if they're zombies. And what I mean by that is I don't mind about fast attackers if it's a virus, if it is if it's explained. But when you're a zombie, to me, because I run Dungeons and Dragons or I run, you know, amalgamation of real world zombie world do anything a walking dead world i ran uh, i created or ran there's for me a hierarchy in freshly dead undamaged fine it can move fast whatever for a certain time and then over a period of time i guess like walking dead does it if you see the same zombie five years later he's leathery skin his bones are showing and that's not talking about just damaged damaged ones so forget about the spoofy breaking out of the grave zombies which are like supernatural in a you know how do they fucking move their arms and legs and yell for brains with no vocal cords okay i get it whatever but you know i'll i'll, I'll weigh all the factors and i'll know when i'm going in just to have fun uh, i love the old um return of the living deads and the uh when george romero and his kind of friend partner broke up one went serious you know night of the living dead dawn of the dead and those and then the other guy who did a little more campy comedy which are fucking hilarious and i'm up for it this is like not for me then it's just i don't like the progression the pacing the story elements when they try to wrap into each other just feel forced and kind of not for me i don't believe certain angles of connections to certain characters and it should be really important when you're dealing with father and a daughter or you know you're getting a group together to do a heist and it just so happens to be in a zombie infested area so i think what this movie so without giving out spoilers is in a nutshell las vegas gets contaminated by zombies they're able to contain it now uh, it could allude to other things going on around the world fine but in general no so around las vegas are uh, uh, refugee camps i guess people leaving who survived and then in the center is this zombie land now this guy offers to pay an extreme amount of money to get into his vault and he needs his money out of there or something but it's in the middle of the zombie infested land okay there's your catalyst and you've got your protagonist who gets his group together they gotta go get into the zombie infested land break the safe get out they all make a huge amount of money and then the subplots are my daughter this and we'll, we'll help the children the refugees fine and as this pacing's going i'm not i'm a little jarred by the the, the camera angles and certain ways and i guess that's artistic and fine maybe if i was behind the camera and i was filming something and i was like oh this would look good blurry at first and using new cameras and things like that fine i didn't watch the making of i don't got the tolerance for him in this thing right now i wanted to watch this take a break you know i do my meditation clear my mind and re-examine it as its own thing so that's the movie in a nutshell obviously a couple of things go wrong here and there there's revelations about a hierarchy of the zombies meaning some bobbies zombies are a little smarter than the others and they kind of run things down to call them shamblers and whatever did not and did not think that was portrayed well i wasn't into it there's this you know um story he's trying to tell within them and i don't think it was done well however i can see people liking this that justice league is fucking crap and it feels like after watching it that it was just a fucking publicity stunt with his vain bullshit i even described in that i understand his attachment to the justice league the family issues and i wish the best for people get your stories out there you know if he wants to dock justice league and injustice and that was his vision fine it did not for me but i could see someone liking this and me not rolling my eyes and going oh you know what you're a fucking idiot now i can see the fun you'll have with it batista's good in it and some of the side characters kind of surprise you in their capacity to deal with the fucking 
script and the dialogue because it's it's kind of bad and not weighty it doesn't feel like you're chewing through stuff it yeah you know maybe it's a little bit of a deep dive i did that tainted my bias or whatever but i just get the feeling zack snyder once he got the ability to do what he wants this is what he wants to do and it's not for me rather than um all right my book right i have a book uh the mushroom king book one of the deadly addiction chronicles so let's say i have three they come to me or oh, you want to make a movie off it i'll be fucking happy as shit and Zack Snyder's knight is gonna direct fine that's all he's doing but he's not getting okay on the script the screenplay the story beats and i could see me using him in that aspect i could see me being happy he's got talent he's got you know ambitions in that sense are fine i'm all for doing your vision because who the fuck wants to watch my book uh, pot smoking monk and the deadly addictions and you got your you know the drunken monk and so fine i get it you know it would be just as corny and crazy but it, mine would blend in it's like Shaw brothers kung fu movies the old channel five kung fu movies blended in with lord of the rings and that, that was my vision anyway but if you told me the deal breaker is he gets final say, he gets screenplay, he could fuck with the story. It's like, no, no, I'm not doing it. So there's obviously talent in Zack Snyder. There's something to like in this movie. Fine. I could see that for people, but he's not winning me over with like, um, oh, what can he do? This is what he likes to do. Fine. Uh, I know. Maybe I'll equate it to bands like Metallica. When they did the black album with Enter Sandman, and from then on, people are like, oh, they changed. Well, fine. If that's what they want to do, fine. They got to realize the uh, the facts of everything and the, the, the consequences, right? Look at Motley Crue, Twisted Sister. You want to do, um, you know, songs like, well, uh, you know, more bluesy and change your style. That You got to be careful. Because I remember back in the day, you did got a Twisted Sister album, and it had... Um, leader of the pack on it and you're like okay i get it you know you you, you rock making a little bit of rock but your audience like they don't care and it's sad in a way and if you can do it was like johnny cash maybe and you know you got some maybe the rolling stones don't give a fuck but you make music and if it sticks with you and it's your thing and you change there's going to be consequences and I think that's kind of what happened with Zack Snyder in the movie industry. He comes on the scene, he's got fucking talent and eye for things, and once he's let, the constraints are let loose, he just goes off the rails. There's too much uh, space, and, and I, I get it, if that's what he likes. So, initially, this is not a fun movie for me to watch, watch again. I don't think it sucks, it's not for me. I could see it being popular. I could see it being uh, something people enjoy to watch, but I don't. You know, when, maybe you know when I sit through a movie like almost Lord of the Rings and I watch the extended cut, you know, going on three and something hours. And when I watch that um, Justice League uh, ex fucking Snyder cut, I don't care about the time. I'm not somebody who worries about time and stuff but when you're in the movie watching the movie and you're recognizing it like this needs to happen quick like why are we standing in this area for shitty dialogue and, and, and shitty you know things that just don't really impact um like there's a difference when you're writing a book and you're doing different styles and when you're in a movie and your dialogue, it's important. It's got to move the story. It's got to be important to the situation. It's got to flesh things out. And, you know, there's little tropes and, like, or just methods people use, you know, show, don't tell. You, can, you know, so it, there's these little things I don't think blend well for him. And if he's doing his own thing, fine. But I'm not going to stop. If I got to dev devote my time to it and watch it, I'm not going to stop critiquing it in that way. So it's looking like I'm not a fan of Zack Snyder in general. Um, what about? Uh, let me you know what. Let me take a quick look. I'll look at uh, Zack Snyder's wiki, whatever the fuck, and I'll go through real quick. 
and I'll be honest. Uh, now, these aren't ones I've watched recently, like, you know. All right, 2004, Dawn of the Dead. I love it. In the back of my mind, I will watch it right now. I have a desire to watch it again. 300. Yes, I, I would watch that again. And if it came on, I would say, yeah, good. And I think he's got writing credits on that. Good for him. Watchmen. I liked it. I don't watch it over and over. I don't have the desire to watch it again. But I did, I did think it was a good movie. I never seen Legends of the Guardian. Sucker Punch. I enjoyed it. You know what? See, now that's him doing everything. Director, writer, producer. I could see that. I could really see um, his style in Sucker Punch where I like it and people would tell me I'm out of my fucking mind. So I get it. Uh, in that sense. Um wonder how long Sucker Punch was because it doesn't come to me as a 109 minutes. See, I, you know, it could be runtime, 109. I'll make it that's 148 minutes. Uh, maybe it's just a little too much for me in that sense. All right. So, Man of Steel, don't like. Um, and what I do like, it's not, I don't know, you, you put Superman in the suit and he's flying around beating, you know, fighting super people. So I like what? The 25 minutes at the end of the movie? But the movie sucks. It's point, it's whole theme. Blah, blah, blah. 300 Rise of an Empire. He's only writing and producing. It's not that good of a movie. I had, did watch it. And I don't want to give um, too much of a critique of it. Because it's only something I watched once. But I would say it wasn't super enjoyable. I'm not thinking of watching it again. Batman vs. Superman. Great stuff in it. Just sucks. It's just bullshit. Whoever decided to do what they do. I don't know if I blame Zack Snyder for Batman v Superman. He's just a director. He's not nothing to do with the writing and the producing, but what they decided to do, movie sucks. He's got uh, credit for Wonder Woman. Fine. As a writer. I'll give him that. Justice League. Um... You know, that's a little weird. So that's where we get weird. and That's about it. Um, they say he's doing Army of Thieves. And this Army of Dead that I'm talking about right now on Netflix is something that might blossom into other things. It might go prequel, sequel, animated show, or animated movie. I'm fine. I'm more happy for him. And by the way, I think I said on my other one, give fucking Zack Snyder... Uh, a streaming service, whatever you're doing, um, WB, let him do his fucking uh, Injustice or his Dark Justice League where Superman is fucking Dark Side's lackey. I'll watch it. And if it's good, I'll say it's good. So, I could see people like you know, Army of the Dead. I'm, you know, in a way, I wish I would have liked them more. I like zombie movies. I'm into this whole nonsense and, you know, uh, shoot him in the head and even things like that. When you say to people in your movie, shoot him in the head, you gotta... I don't know. It just doesn't come together well. It looks like he's trying to blend these elements. So in the end, I think I'm starting to realize Zack Snyder might not be for me, but I try to judge these things on their own. I don't think Army of the Dead is a good movie. Below average. I could see people liking it, though. Like, I liked Sucker Punch or... You know, I like fucking Green Lantern, but I know it's horrible. I won't debate it. I won't come out and fucking flood the internet with how wonderful it was. So maybe that's the difference. But if you like Army of the Dead, fine. I could see, you know, I could see things to like. And, you know, you, you want to watch a fun movie and just get through it. it it's it's kind of up and down because you're putting your, uh, your themes, whatever the fuck, in your... Uh, um, subplots in different directions with tone. So I want to watch a rompy, fun movie, and I got to deal with this and this interpersonal thing. And fine, it was your vision. It just doesn't work for me. I don't see me interested in the continuation, prequel, sequel thing. I did like the opening in a way, but then again, the opening's too fucking long. The montage was good, and there were little bright spots in there, sure, you know, 
Uh, so that's really it. I don't really give a ranking in general. And if ever I get, uh, you know, some um, feedback and stuff, and maybe I would do a in-depth more thing. But there you go. Netflix, Army of the Dead, a Zack Snyder movie, written, produced, and directed. It's a miss for me. I don't think it's a terrible, awful movie, but it borderlines on Suicide Squad-ish, where I ask your friend, I enjoyed that fucking movie. Yeah, was, uh, yeah, okay, fine, it's just not for me. So I don't like label it as trash, garbage, where Justice League, I put a big thing on the screen, said so suck. That's because he's a fucking jerk off in that movie. What he did, it showed, even I can't believe I got to praise that other fucking director, but it's just bullshit. This, okay, you had a vision. Came out, dramas I like. Oh, all right, I see some some uh, greatness, if you want to call it that, in there. Like I said, he's got to have talent. I mean, you know, his eye for detail is uh, when used properly. <laughs> you know, constrain this man. All right, so I hope everybody's doing okay. My best to everybody. My, you know what? Check it out. Like, if I get a recommendation, I say, yeah, go. Go ahead. Watch on me. You'll probably enjoy it. Get some popcorn, take some mushrooms, and, you know, smoke some weed. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. Um, but we have, in my opinion, a little bit below average movie. Didn't hit everything for me. Maybe it will for you. I'll talk to everybody next time, and take care.